Hello guys, good evening. So today, I'm going to show you how to fit the Nyquist plot. So we are going to do the fit and simulation. We're going to do the electrochemical fits. So we're going to get the circuit. We're going to get the series resistance, the charge transfer resistance. So this is the DSSC device, a two electrode system. So we run in the electrochemical impedance spectroscopy. So we got the Nyquist plot and we got the boot plot. We could also have the boot face. So this is the complete job. So we are going to do one by one. So first you open the Nova 2.1. Okay, this is the icon of Nova 2.1. You can open it. So what happened after you open? Make sure you already have the result. So you should have the result. So let's say I open one procedure. Mm, let's say this procedure. Okay. When you already run your sample, you can get maybe two semicircle or maximum three semicircle, depending on your situation, depending your application. If typically in solar cell, there should be three semicircle. Mm, as you can see, we only get two semicircle here. This is the semicircle at charge transfer resistance between counter electron electrolyte. This is the charge transfer resistance between TIO to die electrolyte interface. So now we're going to do the electrochemical circuit fit. First, you click your data, for example, your recent data, or you can open uh, library and choose your data. So here, when I click my data, what happened is click the FRA measurement. When you click, go to this button up here. Go to the button Add Analysis Command. Then Electrochemical Circuit Fit. So, when you click the Electrochemical Circuit Fit, double click it. You can pick uh, three point or more. Let's say one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. So now here you can know the value here the rs is 832.38 ohms and for the rpr is the charge transfer resistance uh, 437.14 ohm so so first we got uh, the value so you must report the rs value the rct1 let's say you say it is is rct1 and this is RCT2. To get the RCT2, we can get again after this. So first, for the RCT1, after after we already do the electrochemical circuit fit, we need to do the fit and simulation test. So fit and simulation analysis. So first of all, add your electrochemical circuit fit. Just now we already done like this, so we must click copy. Means that it will copy as equivalent circuit. So then we go again to our second measurement, which is fit and simulation. You click at fit and simulation and click edit. So you can paste. So this is your circuit for this first semicircle because um ours we got as you can see here we got two semicircle we can add uh, two circuit here so first uh, right click add connection is parallel split so we got the parallel split so just copy the resistance paste just copy the CPE or the capacitance and paste or lastly you need to right click add connection and parallel join okay okay then you click okay after you click okay they will undergo a process here so we are just waiting until the circle is fitted so as you can see here the circuit is almost fitted the dotted line is the real experimental Whereas the solid line is the fitted data. So you can see here. Mm, you can see at the chi-square here. Okay, the chi-square. If the chi-square is 0 0.0009 or whatsoever. If the chi-square is only 
the zero is two or more may so the result is good so you must get a very low chi square for a good fitting graph so that's for the fitting fit and simulation so it's quite simple if you want to copy the graph just go to the fit and simulation click more oh no sorry click fit and simulation go to edit and just copy the graph you can just copy so you can paste in your thesis or whatsoever this is your typical circuit for two semicircle so I repeat so for example you have a data just click the data double click so next click the FRE measurement click to the analysis command and you can click to electrochemical circuit fit and fit and simulation after that it will appear at the bottom for electrochemical circuit fit double click and then click three point this I only do for the first one to get the value at the second point you must do again for the second point to get the value for RCG2 how much the value is then after that you just click copy because it will copy as equivalent circuit then you can go to the fit and simulation go to edit and paste your circuit so then because of you have to semicircle you must replicate the resistance here and the CPE so then click OK after you click OK they will generate a result and you must make sure your chi-square is very low I think that's all so thank you for watching